Ethereum versus Tezos, which is better? Tezos and Ethereum are both decentralized ledgers that facilitate the creation of dApps on top of them. But there's a different experience while utilizing these blockchain technologies, and that's what this video is all about. You'll discover the fundamentals of Ethereum and Tezos with a detailed comparison of the two blockchain technologies as we evaluate the experiences of Ethereum and Tezos in creating decentralized apps. Let's dive right in. Is Tezos better than Ethereum? Ethereum is a blockchain that's accessible to the public and supports smart contracts and cryptocurrency exchange. Proof of work allows it to maintain consensus across all the nodes in its network. Ethereum will soon switch to a proof of stake system, but everyone is still waiting for that upgrade. So in the meantime, new alternatives are popping up every day and Tezos is one of them. Tezos is unique compared to other cryptocurrencies since it's not reliant on mining. If you're planning on holding Tezos, there's good news. Token holders can earn rewards by taking part in the network's proof of stake consensus mechanism. Tezos is a self-amending blockchain and a decentralized platform that enables the development of dApps similar to Ethereum. Since both of these platforms accept dApps made using smart contracts, they function similarly to one another. But Tezos differentiates from Ethereum blockchain in a number of ways. Here are some of the things that make it different. Tezos' on-chain governance is the one thing that stands out the most among its differentiating features from Ethereum. Similar to a democracy, this effectively gives investors a say in the direction the network should go. While governance exists in Ethereum as well, it takes the form of soft governance, with much of the joint effort occurring off-chain and features being tested for support before being implemented into applications. But in the end, the network users make the call by approving or disapproving new updates. Smart contracts are a key element of blockchain technology. They're used by a lot of well-known cryptocurrency projects, and they have helped those projects create productive ecosystems. Even though Tezos is a new blockchain compared to Ethereum, it has had a lot of success considering all the hurdles it's had. More on that later. Tezos is an innovative project that benefits many people, but mainly governments and law enforcement agencies. The blockchain is perfect for large-scale applications because it's flexible and scalable by design. In its early stages, Tezos attracted investors' interest by positioning itself as a powerful and adaptable blockchain network for digital currencies. It launched in July 2017 and ended up becoming one of the most successful ICOs ever launched after earning over $232 million. It wasn't all sunshine and rainbows though, because soon after the company's successful debut, the president of Tezos and its owners got into a heated argument. This disagreement also contributed to Tezos' delayed release and damaged its reputation. It wasn't long before people started wondering whether the rumors about it being a scam were true. So were they? Yes and no. As a result of the disagreements, Tezos was the target of several lawsuits, which seriously harmed its image and it eventually lost market sentiment. Even so, Tezos defied the odds and returned to the market as a powerful blockchain network, but it's still not as widely accepted as Ethereum. The differences between Ethereum and Tezos. There are many parallels and distinctions between the two projects. Understanding the consensus methods can help you understand the ideas and the basics behind the projects, even if they're not directly connected to developing dApps. The Ethereum network's consensus method enables all nodes to agree on the blockchain's current state and protect the network against intrusions. After Bitcoin, Ethereum was one of the first blockchains to leverage proof-of-work consensus protocol, which introduced the ability to develop dApps and establish smart contracts. The Ethereum proof-of-work consensus method depends on miners to tackle challenging computational problems, and as a result of the tasks they carry out for the network, the miners receive rewards. In contrast, Tezos uses a liquid proof-of-stake consensus protocol in which validators are referred to as bakers. The way their process works is the blocks are made by a baker, verified by endorsers, and then both parties are rewarded. If a member doesn't have enough coins or the necessary technical skills, the consensus protocol asks them to stake a particular number of their coins to prove their willingness to protect the blockchain's integrity. We previously established that both blockchain systems enable smart contracts but when they code their smart contracts, they employ different languages. And no, we're not talking about English or Chinese. We're talking about programming languages here. Ethereum implements smart contracts using Solidity. Solidity is an object-orientated high-level language designed for the Ethereum Virtual Machine, or EVM. It supports features like inheritance, unique user-defined types, and libraries, and is statically typed. But people can partake in just about any programming language, including Java, Python, and JavaScript. So Solidity isn't the only language used to build smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain. Tezos doesn't have one single language either. Similar to how Ethereum utilizes Solidity as its base language, Tezos uses Michelson. 
Michelson is a sophisticated, Turing-complete, stack-based smart contract language. Michelson supports features like maps, sets, lists, cryptographic primitives, and integers of just about any precision, but doesn't utilize variables or named functions. The Tezos network also supports writing smart contracts using high-level languages like SmartPy, LIGO, or Lawrence. But most people favor Michelson. But Tezos Michelson is somewhat tricky. That's mainly because there aren't many tutorials for beginners, and the material that's occasionally posted online is extremely complicated for beginners to understand. But this doesn't mean that a theory makes it super easy because even if you're already comfortable with JavaScript and Python, both blockchains have a learning curve. Even so, Ethereum outperforms Tezos in this area thanks to its comprehensive, logical documentation that includes easy-to-understand tutorials. Tezos' tutorials, on the other hand, aren't quite as easy. It's been established that both blockchain ledgers can be utilized in a variety of ways and have several use cases. They're utilized in lending platforms, DAOs, DEXs, NFTs, and other things beside being just a store of value. Let's go a little deeper into how Tezos works now that we've established the differences between the two blockchain ledgers. How does Tezos work exactly? Tezos is a self-amending encrypted ledger with XTZ as the native currency of the Tezos blockchain that's used to pay for transaction costs and storage. It's a decentralized blockchain that allows smart contracts and the developments of dApps like Ethereum. With Tezos' unique consensus mechanism, block validators are selected in a pseudo-random fashion based on their stake or the amount of XTZ they have invested in a delegated staking pool. Therefore, a validator's odds of winning are increased by the amount of XTZ they staked. Once chosen, validators are required to approve transactions and add new blocks to the chain. If they don't, their stake may be reduced, which implies that a piece of it would be taken away. It's sort of unfair, but it is what it is. This is necessary since it encourages validators to behave in the network's best interest and guarantee its seamless operation. Additionally, Tezos contains an integrated governance system that enables on-chain voting on proposed protocol improvements. By doing this, the Tezos network can mature without experiencing hard forks, or in other words, splitting into two different blockchain networks. XTZ can be purchased and traded on cryptocurrency exchanges like Coinbase Pro and Binance. Participating in Tezos' proof-of-stake consensus system will also reward you with XTZ. So, there are two ways you can go about it. Conclusion According to CoinMarketCap, Tezos is ranked 37th in the global cryptocurrency market and is being traded at $1.57 at the start of July 2022, which is significantly less than the value of Bitcoin or Ethereum, but that makes it a sustainable long-term investment alternative for someone who can't afford the steep prices of Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's not a very good short-term investment because the price prediction for the end of this year according to coin price forecast is $2.43. Since the Tezos community is self-governing, its members make decisions on how the protocol should evolve. The interests of all stakeholders are taken into consideration when choices concerning the protocol's future are made thanks to this type of governance. Proposals made by the Tezos Foundation or other community members can be voted on by the community. These suggestions might range from adjustments to the protocol itself to suggestions for how the foundation needs to be managed. By using this governance model, Tezos will continue to be a decentralized platform that's run by its users rather than a decentralized authority. This should make it possible for Tezos to change and develop over time in response to the demands of its users. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for future videos. Please also leave a comment below to tell us what you think about Tezos. If you're looking for promising crypto projects like this one, consider checking out our video on Polygon by clicking on the pop-out banner.